got a question on one of my videos asking why the cuboid won't go to 200 watts after I did the update that's supposed to make it 200 watts. Well, here's the deal with that. Two 18650 batteries will not technically support 200 watts in all ohms. So you can see here it says 168 watts. If I screw the tank on here, is a cubist tank. You'll see it says 157 or 155.8. It won't let me go any higher. And that was a 0.52 ohm coil. We have the velocity. Let's do the velocity on there. That is a 1.8 ohm. That will only let me go to 112.5 watts. And we'll screw the Freak Show Mini on here. That's a 0.27 ohm. That will let me go to 168.8. The amount of amp draw to fire that would be more than two 18650s can handle. So the box understands that. Now this is a Clapton coil at 0.36 ohms and that'll let me fire at the full 200 watts I'm not exactly sure what the exact ohm reading is where it stops firing at 200 watts but it's got to be somewhere right, be right between 0.2 and 0.3 so if you're not getting the full 200 watts it's not because there's something wrong it's just because the ohms are at a certain point that if it fires, it will draw more than what the two 18650s can safely support. Now, I'm not sure if the batteries have anything to do with that, but somehow I don't think so. Actually, let's check quick. Hang on. try putting two higher amp batteries in there but I don't think that's gonna make a difference the ones I have in now are the LG HG twos they're only rated for uh, 20 amps As you can see, it's full. They were fully charged batteries. Let's try. No. So the batteries don't make a difference. It's just a limitation of trying to fire 200 watts off of two 18650s that can't technically support 200 watts. That's why when you get a DNA 200, you can, if you're using two batteries, it only fires at 133 watts. If you use three batteries, you can get your full 200. So, anybody having that problem, that's why. Hope this helps somebody.